is my hope. It is my utmost pleasure to welcome you on the 20 of When Mercy Speaks 2024. What an advantage we have that we can pray to the creator of the universe and he hears us. There truly is no better way to start the day. King David said in Psalms 40 that I waited patiently for the Lord and he inclined to me and he heard my cry. The psalmist also says in the 23rd chapter, and I pray likewise for you this morning, that surely the goodness and mercy of God shall follow you all the days of your life in Jesus' name. Amen. Today we'll be looking at the scripture, Psalm 75, from verse 2 to 7. And our minister for today is our wonderful pastor, Pastor Yomi Uluokun. Pastor Yomi, over to you, sir. Good morning, family of God. I do pay low or low room for your fair to want to fool that real job to you. Indeed, it's not by power, neither is it by might, but by the spirit, see the Lord of hosts. Today is day 20 of this When Mercy Speaks edition for the year 2024. I do pay low or low room for your fair to fool that Agbara kin she, ipa kin she, ogbo kin she pelu oye kin she, anu, anu, anu ni kon lariba, lo wo ludmari. The topic before us today that we are supposed to use to encourage one another is fami lo wo soke. Fami lo wo soke. God lift me up. And our text, the golden text, is taken from the book of Psalms, chapter 75 and verse 6. Once again, I welcome you all into a new season where mercy speaks. Not the regular kind of mercy that we are familiar with, but a mercy that flows from the throne of grace. Not a mercy that is that we are used to. It is a rare kind of mercy that flows from the seat of mercy that flows from the heart of a merciful God who has decided in his own discretion to show us love and love us at first sight. The mercy that we are talking about today is outpoured and is tied to three promises. It's a mercy that would single you and I out and make us preferred above all. It is a mercy that will break every barrier between us and the supernatural. It is a mercy that will bring and uproot every form of barrier, be it physical, be it spiritual, and separate us, that is separating us from the miraculous. The mercy, Anuta and Soroni Pareloni, is a mercy that will update our name on the testimony list of this season. Because the time to favor us has come. Indeed, the set time is here. The mercy that we are talking about, Anuta and Soroni Pareloni, is a mercy that will make us become global candidates of God's splendor. We said today again that the topic is family. was okay. And like I said earlier, the, the golden text is Psalms chapter 75 and verse 6 that says, For promotion does not come from the east, the west, the north, or the south, but cometh from God above. Promotion does not come from the east, or the west, or the north, or the south, but cometh from above. People of God, life challenges will bring to an individual some situations that it will seem as if there is no hope. It can bring an individual to a state of humiliation. Life's challenges can bring an individual to a state of stagnation. It can further frustrate one and bring one to a state of disgrace. <laughs> but I bring you good news this morning that God, the eternal God, that God of heaven and earth, the protocol breaking God, 
is God the capacity to seek us out and to uplift us out of every form of difficult situation. In other words, I am here to announce to you and bring this good news to you <laughs> that your situation can never have the final say. Only God, the true God that we serve, he has the final say. Be alone about fire, that's okay. The Bible says, if the Son of Man be lifted up, men shall be drawn unto him. There are three things that will happen when you engage the promotion of God. One of the first things that will happen when you engage the promotion of God is this. God will translate such a person from a point of disadvantage to an evident space of advantage. That is why we could say about Isaac that Isaac in the midst of famine can see opportunities in the midst of a tough situation. When God's promotion comes upon the life of an individual, your disadvantage will turn to an advantage and you will begin to harvest plenty even in the midst of an inconvenient situation. <laughs> Little wonder the Bible says that if the Lord be lifted high in the life of any man, such a man is sure to enjoy his grace. For when the enemies are saying there's a casting down, we say there is a lifting up. I speak as an oracle of the Most High this morning. In every situation that you have been at a disadvantage, the Lord turns it around to your advantage today in the name of Jesus. And when you I declare today again, by the mercies and the favor of God, that in every way that we have been at a disadvantage in our business, in our career, in our health, in ministry, in finance, in family, I declare that the advantage of God will work in our favor in the mighty name of Jesus. I join faith with Amen. you this morning and I ask you to begin to say that as from today on, Beresis of Lord that I am at an advantage. Connect with faith. Connect with the God of the mess. When mercy speaks right now. Concerning everything that you are trusting him for. That God for today. I am at an advantage. I am at an advantage. I am an, at, at an advantage. Mugba yemi, mugba yemi, odua fio wole fami soke, modieni la, modieni shelogo. I hope somebody is praying upon this platform. So fun alone, ba alone soro, gege bi alone she jessio, alone ni babare, alone ni olura padare, alone ni ogore, alone ni pare, alone ni olu shegure. Begin to speak to God that I am at an advantage. I declare in every facet from today on, anything shade day 20 when mercy speaks, I am at an advantage. Oribe, Osebe, Ni Oruko Jesu Christi, Oluawa. Another thing that the promotion we do for you in the journey of life, be Olorumba Fausuki, is that God will lift an individual from the spot of obscurity. <laughs> To an heaven of new testimonies. A kowipe a wonu yo ma soro gu alonu. O furu furu yo ma fi sere han. O ni o jo di o jo fo un. O ru di o ru nan fi ima han. O tu ma si wipe. O jo di o jo bo mba an li. O ma fo un wo go. Yo ma fo un wo la. En o ru ko a pele ti ki she ti alonu ta ti fi kuyo. That can be an old name of disgrace and shame shall be changed. Little wonder scripture says in Isaiah chapter 65 and verse 17. I create new heavens. Ah, I create a new earth. The Bible did not say I create one new heaven. The remedy is that the Bible says God creates new heavens 
That is, there is an open heaven for an individual, be you as you may, upon this call. I create new heavens. There is enough space at the top for you. There is enough space at the spotlight for you. He said, I create new heavens. There is a pluralized earth behind the heavens. I create new heavens for everybody on this call and a new earth. Hey, he says, and the former shall no longer be remembered, nor will it come to mind. In other words, because the Bible says God is affirming to you that the former thing shall not be remembered. Your sickness cannot be remembered. Your bad situation cannot be remembered. Your failures cannot be remembered. They will not come mm -hmm. to mind because you are operating under a new heaven. Eh? The Bible says in Psalms 138 verse 8b that I, the Lord, will perfect all that concerns you. God can never leave you half-baked. God can never leave you in obscurity. He is set to take you to a heaven of testimony. And Boba Ribe, Boba Shebe, begin to speak to God and begin to declare. And an open mouth is an open destiny. So I encourage you and I join faith with you this morning in the name of God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. There is a few of you who go deep way, but no Jeremy. A few of you deep way, but no Jeremy. Isaiah said, instead of shame and dishonor, hey, I will call you by a new name. I will give you a double portion of prosperity. Loni I welcome you to a great glory. I welcome you to a great joy. I welcome you into God's prosperity. The third thing that the promotion of God will do when you engage it in the journey of life. He says, God's promotion will upscale you. From a state of nothingness hey, to a dawn of overall significance. The Lord God will turn your nothingness to something. That was what happened in the life of Peter. A man fisherman became an apostle of global recognition. That was the same thing that happened in the life of Joseph. A regular boy on the road, a regular dreamer boy. A regular dreamer boy became the deputy prime minister in a foreign country. And Biolua Bafa or Lawa Soke, O go along who set on Lati Buyo Nino Ayere, O Kyo Shogoni Nino Relay, the Unicorn, O Shogo Palu, Nino Relay, the Ajiji. When the promotion of God comes upon your life, it will be a replica of what happened in the life of Esther, a little orphan girl with no connection, eh? a little orphan girl with no connection, just with an uncle that had nothing. She became the first lady of a great nation in her time. Bio Gualoru and the promotion of God. It will be like the story of the poor widow who was in a lowest upstate, a lowest estate of bankruptcy. 
I call we pay bobo situation and all the tongue pata pata. I call we pay colo bo rolo kekere ni colo kulo bole. All she could show forth as a life insurance and as a life resource was a small jar of oil. But by the time the power of God came upon her and the words of God came out through his prophets, the Bible says that she was turned into a business tycoon and she became owner of great estates. The Bible says that until the jar was exhausted, the big Bible says she began to ask for more jar. On ya forty, on ya he was she was borrowing jars. She was borrowing jar. Or all not until she was jure lo to so we pay until the jar that you gather comes to an end. That is where the blessings will stop. I speak to you as an oracle of God. Most sibala dura no ruku ni Latin dead Jehovah. We pay lato ni lo be or not until far or so was okay. Be or not until be or got cruel. You know he wala ti damu towa. No ruku ni Latin dead Jehovah. No ruku ti tu ogo tu tu agbara tu tu eri tu tu maje mu tu tu ipe tu tu o bere si farao ni no ayere. Begin to speak to God as I join faith with you. Speak to God and say, God, I declare that from today on. I enjoy overall significance in every facet of my life. I am the head. I am not the tail. I am above. I am above only. I learn to nations. I never borrow. I learn to nations. I never borrow. Where others are failed, I succeed there. Where others are falling, I stand upright. I begin to speak to God. Begin to declare. Declare how your day will go. Declare how day 20 we go. Declare how this Lenten period will go. Declare how 2024 you will go. The power of life and death lies in the top. Or on the lower lower, Ashantele, we pay no rukoti baba, no rukoti omo, no rukoti em, mimimo, nipa agbara ejo, dwe aguto, nipa ori of a Christian. You become an overall significant person in business, in finance, in ministry, mm. in your health, mm. you become significant. You refuse to see the challenges like Peter. You refuse to see the boisterous winds around you. You look up to Christ. Begin to declare, begin to speak, begin to achieve, begin to declare, begin to prophesy into your life and destiny. I overtake today. I run. I overtake. I recover all. I will not be at a disadvantage. In the name of the Lord Jesus. I speak as an oracle of the Most High into your life this morning. Or Oja de Ashe tell the Lord who can enlighten the judge Jehovah. Oh la 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 la, get your phone to the court and pick a judge. Oru kore. I call me pe omo luwa yo ma fagi keda di lebalo ni dia. Omo luwa yo ma mukia gori ko biwele. Omo luwa yo ma fi godi di ho. I call me pe ti oluwa ni le ti ekure. Aye ati a onto te de sunere. Today I declare as an oracle of the Most High that you overtake, you run, you excel. You exceed above all. You will succeed. You will have joy. Allah Rufa or Sova, Roki. Allah Rufa or Lower Stoki. Allah Muti Kara, Eva, Lower Stoki. Nitori Bekini, or what to Lua La Bega? Or what to Lua Yo Mashia Bara? Mosoga can be caught in it to Allah Rua Laji. In every way you have been at a disadvantage, your story turns around today and you become at advantage. In the mighty name of Jesus, O God, Jetire, Imole Jetire, Anure, Anuba Fade, Ishagu Jetire, Ipiolua Jetire, so shall it be. Loru Koti Baba, Loru Koti Yoma, Loru Koti Mimima, Loru Koti Jesu, Christi, O Luawa, Ami, Ayonio.
Ni diduro awaduro di oluwa o si de ti si wa o si gbo ohun ekun wa o si mu wa goke pelu ni o pa jade wa lati ni erupe o si fi ese wa kan ri apata o si fi se wa lele o si fi ori tutu si wa le enu ani ohun si olorun wa opo eni oni yo ri ti o si beru ti o si gbekele oluwa ibukun ni fun okun ni na ti o fi oluwa se gbekele re ti ko ti ko koni re si tabi ran oke oluwa olorun ni opolopo ni se ya ntiwo ti se ironu ati wa akole ka won ni esese bi awo ti soro won ebo ati oro iwo ko bere nigba na ni keke si inu egula wi ko we wa inu wa dun lati se fe olorun ni toto ofin re nbe ni aya wa awa ti wa tun ninu awojo re awa ko fi odure si ni aya wa to re iwo iwo ma se fanu re to re isuku ro lodo wa to ri pe ani de yoyu wa kaakiri ki o wo oluwa lati gba wa ki o tuko tu awon ti o damu pe awon ti o nwo ta wa ki won ko jo fun ki gbogbo awon ti o ri o ko ma yo ninu wa gbo talaka ti awon oluwa iwo ni run loro wa oluwa olorun wa e ma lo ni alaafia bi e ti gbekele olorun fun fun ifasoke oju igbagbo ki o ti yin owo agbara olorun yo fa yin soke ju aiso lo ju iku lo ju idamu lo e o ga ju awon elegbe yin lo e o de bi ileri olorun igbala re yo eyin ati idile yi e o wonu igbala re owo agbara olorun yo se yanu ninu aye yin o yo fe jesus christ oluwa wa ife mi mo ti olorun dapo ti emi mimo ko ko ma ba yin lo lojo ni ni akoko yi ni ojo gbogbo owo agbara olorun yo fa yin goke yo so yin da segun e de ni yo nla oju ki o ti eyin ati idile yi e o yin olorun logo jesu baba ami 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 loruko jesu what a powerful ministration that was i don't know about you but i'm definitely on a different level than when we started the session because god has lifted me up and I'm at an advantage. If I have a witness in the house and you truly believe that God has lifted you up regardless of your situation, you kindly comment in the chat box on the comment section that I'm on a new level. Because me, I truly believe that I'm on a new level. I would like to bless the name of the Lord for our minister, Pastor Yomi Oluoko. We pray that God will continue to strengthen you in the name of Jesus. I also want to thank our Father, the Shepherd, for his grace. May God continually be with you in the name of Jesus. We want to encourage us all to like all our social media pages on the major social media platforms so that we can propagate the gospel of God's message to all the nations. We know that when we gather here, we do not gather in vain. So we have created an avenue, an email for us to send our testimonies. And the email is testimonies at cnsyf.org testimonies at cnsyf.org with that being said i want to wish us a most beautiful monday see you tomorrow at the same time god bless his church i on you